need to know. Who is the bigger fool in this song? Is it Barbara or is it Shirley? Because you have Shirley taking care of a grown man, feeding him, buying him clothes, buying him cars. Hello. I mean, shit. I, I'll, bake, I'll date Hello, Shirley too. Barbara. But then you have Barbara, Barbara this is Shirley. being on the side. You might not know She's being the side know. chick to a man that ain't got nothing and that's living off of his girl. So who's the biggest fool in this song? That is the question. That's what we're gonna go behind the lyrics about. We're gonna we're gonna dissect this song and just try to see who's really who's the real dookie. <laughs> I mean, what is really going on here? Now Shirley is confronting Barbara. She found old girl number and she said, I don't care what you say. It don't make a difference. But it's only fair that I let you know. I need to let you know who I am in case. My man is playing games and acting like he's single, okay? From the top of his head, by Miss Pete. The bed he sleeps in and every piece of food he eats. You see, I make it toxic. Pimp shit. Clothes on his back. My thing is, why Shirley just didn't have a son? Ladies, if you got to do all of this to take care of a man and to show him you love him, go have a son. Because this is unacceptable. I don't care. There's nothing wrong with buying your man stuff and, and splurging on him if he deserves it, if he's loyal, if y'all locked in like that. Shirley sounds like she got a little rent -a center thing going on here. Like she got a rent -a boo rent -a dick or some, something is not quite right with how Shirley is got this man seemingly like it might even be an abusive relationship. Like, she's taking care of everything and you can't go nowhere. But he still snuck out to go see Barbara. So let that be a lesson, ladies, real quick. Let me drop a gem on you real quick. You could do all of that for a man. He gonna cheat anyway if he wanna cheat. He gonna cheat any guy's in way. She done bought his clothes, paid his car note, feed him. I'm sure she fucking him good or whatever it is she does. She's doing everything, and he still went out and found Barbara. So save your coins, ladies. Save your coins. You even got to do all that. Because honestly, you for a real man, you don't got to do all that. You don't have to do all that. Like, she done went and took out loans and did all kinds of crazy stuff to keep this man, and he still went out and found a Barbara. Now, what do you think that's about? But we're going to get back. Because you know what? In my opinion, they both idiots, but... I feel like if anybody's coming on out on top, it's Barbara. Barbara, like, shit me. Shit me. Me and you going to date, and we going to come up on Shirley. So Shirley taking care of the both of them. Because Earl, you know his name is Earl, or Mr. Charles or something. Mr. Charles is picking up Barbara in the car that Shirley bought. He dressed fresh to death in the clothes that Shirley bought. Belly full. You know she put money in his pocket. You know he got Shirley credit card. You know Shirley put money in his pocket so he don't go outside looking like no broke Negro because she he got to represent her. She's like the man in the relationship. She providing, protecting, and professing, child. I wonder how Steve Harvey going to feel about this. This is crazy. Steve, everybody tag Steve Harvey. We're going to find out how Steve feel about this because I know he ain't going to be happy about this. This is not cool. Yeah, I think Shirley's the bigger fool. Barbara is on some, look, as long as Shirley paying, I'm staying. <laughs> so while Shirley's on the phone cussing Barbara out, Barbara like, are you done? Because <laughs> your man about to come over here and pick me up in the car you bought and take me out with your credit card. And I'm hungry and I ain't got time to be hearing you whining on the other end about that's your man. It's clear that Barbara got to know that that is Shirley's man and she just don't give a damn. Ladies, save your coins. You don't have to do all of this to keep no man. You, that, this is ludicrous. This is rambunctious. This is preposterous. This is crazy. Mary McLeod Bethune did not die for you to be out here paying for Negroes to stay in your life. Okay, this is Behind the Lyrics. I'm Ayana Yaya Ellis. Don't forget to like, share, comment. Let me know how you feel about these videos. I know you love them because I love doing them. And um, I will see you next Wednesday. Bye.